This is our second generation camera mounting plate. Because of the back flange on it, it provides for a better anti-twisting mount on the base of a camera. We provide two plates. One plate has a little bit longer flange on it, so depending on the camera that you're using, you might want one plate or the other. To change the plates, you simply take the hex key, loosen up the hex screw, screw it back down, but we don't want to screw it down real tight. We want to maintain enough so we can still slide it back and forth because we're going to set the adjustment on here. So we're going to take the camera plate and we're going to mount it to the base of the camera. In this case here we're using a Nikon D300. So we're going to mount this right to the base. Using a handy Nodal Ninja coin here. We're just going to tighten it down. Again, not too tight, but just enough to allow you to slide this flange so it butts up with the back of the camera. Once we have that butted up against the back of the camera, now we can take off the plate We'll tighten down the hex screw. And that sets the position of the, uh, the plate. So now we can mount the plate directly to the base of the camera. Now that we have the camera plate mounted to the base of the camera, we're going to take the camera plate and simply mount it to the upper rail, in this case here, the Nolan Ninja 5. And this provides for a nice anti-twisting of the upper camera, a good secure mount to the upper rail of the Nolan Ninja. And that is our second generation camera mounting plate.